This is definitely a special one of a kind keychain pattern. here and welcome to Bochin at Macme. If you are here for the first time, this channel is where you will find everything Macme related from DIY pattern tutorials, tips and tricks, and also helpful best practices for your Macme journey. If you guys are interested in following along, make sure you click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So I am always challenging myself to create new and unique patterns in many different forms, whether it's a wall hanging, a keychain, a plant hanger. I try to incorporate certain knot patterns into, say, a keychain when you would normally not see this kind of pattern used in a keychain. One of my favorite designs of all time is a double half-ish knot floral pattern, and I usually incorporate them in a lot of my wall hangings and sometimes in my plant hangers as well. And that's why I wanted to show you guys how you can incorporate a double half inch knot floral pattern into a keychain design. To make this pattern look nice, I did only start with a strand of cord attached to the key ring, and then from there on, you would just add cords on partway through the project. Then this way, you have a nice clean start to it without dangling cords on the side of the keychain pattern. If you guys are a beginner in macrame and you're looking to create your own designs just like how I created this floral keychain pattern, we do go over that in detail on our Bochi Not Macrame community on Patreon. And that is where we release a weekly macrame lesson on how you can create your own designs by specifically going over some tips and best practices and also some advanced DIY macrame projects that you guys can learn from and apply to your own macrame projects. If you guys are interested in learning more, check us out on patreon.com slash bochinot. I really hope you guys will like this one, and with that, let's get started! Before we begin, you do need some materials and supplies to make this macrame keychain as listed here. Once you have gathered all the supplies and materials and have cut the recommended cord lengths, we will take the swivel keychain hook and take one of the 100 centimeter long cords and make a lark's head knot onto the keychain. To do that, fold the cord in half and then weave the loop end through the keychain hole. Then bring the other cord ends through the loop and pull on those cord ends to tighten. Then flip the keychain around bottom up so that now it looks like we have made a reverse lark's head knot. We're going to work on this side as the front of the keychain. Taking another strand of a 100 centimeter long cord, fold it in half and make a reverse lark's head onto the right cord. Then do the same with the other 100 centimeter long cord and make a reverse lark's head on the left cord. We will now close off this small top diamond by taking that far left cord as the anchor cord and then the cord adjacent to it on the right as a working cord for a double half inch knot. Then taking the next cord, make another double half inch knot onto the same anchor cord. Pulling on the working cord tightly so that the pattern curves inwards. We 
Repeat on the right side, mirroring what we just did on the left. Close off this top diamond with one more double half hitch knot to the right using the right cord as the anchor cord and the left cord as the working cord. Now take one strand of cord at 90 centimeters long, fold that in half, and attach it onto the far left cord using a reverse Lars head knot. Then taking the right cord from the Lars head knot, make a half hitch knot onto that same anchor cord to the right. Taking the left core now, make a half hitch knot to the left. Slide the knot up to meet the top diamond. Continue with the far left cord as the anchor cord for two more double half hitch knots to the right. Ensuring that you pull on the working cords tightly so that the pattern also curves inwards. We will now use the middle left cord as the anchor cord and then the core next to it on the left as the working cord for a double half hitch knot. Using the middle left cord as the anchor cord again, we will take the cord from the left side, from the left curve pattern, as the working cord for a double half inch knot. Repeat on the right side by attaching another strand of 90 centimeter long cord using a reverse Lark's head knot. And then add one more half hitch knot on both sides. Then continue with the pattern by making a double half hitch knot curve.
Once you have made two double half inch knots on the right to form a curve, take the left two cords and make a double half inch knot with the top cord as the working cord. Then connect both sides with one more double half inch knot onto the left cord. Add tape to the ends of the middle two cords together so that you can thread through a bead more easily. Thread through one large hole bead. I used a faux pearl 5mm large hole bead to thread both cords through. Then on the right side, continuing with the anchor cord above, close off the diamond in the center. Taking the cord adjacent to it on the left, make a double half inch knot onto the anchor cord. Then continue with one more double half inch knot with the right cord underneath the bead. Repeat the same thing on the left side with the left anchor cord by adding two double half inch knots using the two cords to the right. Close off with one more double half inch knot to the right. Now we will add tape on the far right cord end and thread through a smaller bead of at least 3 millimeter hole. Using the second last cord to the right as a working cord, make a double half inch knot on the horizontal cord on the left. Add one more double half inch knot onto the same anchor cord with the far right vertical cord. Continue using the far right cord as the anchor cord for two more double half inch knots to the left. With the two cords left of the right curve, make a double half inch knot, then close off the right flower petal 
with one more double half inch knot on that same anchor cord. Repeat the same thing on the left side, mirroring what we just did on the right. Close off the bottom diamond starting on the right side using the same anchor cord from above. Continue with two diagonal double half inch knots to the left. Then repeat on the left side with two double half inch knots to the right. And then close off with one more double half inch knot in the middle. The very last step is to cut off the excess cords at the bottom and trim them to your desired length. I hope you guys enjoyed the Macrame Ruby keychain tutorial. If you are interested in any of the materials and supplies I've used in the tutorial, 
please check out the links in the video description below. And that concludes our Ruby keychain pattern tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned some new knotting techniques on how you can apply a Ruby pattern made from double half inch knots and Lars head knots into a keychain design. I've used this pattern several times in many different wall hangings like dream catchers and most recently a macrame curtain. I know this is not the easiest pattern. It is more of an intermediate level, especially if you're not super experienced making the double half inch knot. If you're looking at getting better at making some of these basic macrame knots like the double half inch knot, we do offer a macrame starter kit that goes over the six basic knots of macrame, including the double half inch knot and a small wall hanging pattern. It is definitely a great way to combine different knots together in a wall hanging pattern, and it also includes everything you need to get started with it so you don't have to worry about needing anything else. If you guys are interested, I'll link that in the video description below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.